What up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel. I'm Anthony TV. And look, before we get into this video, I need you to do me a favor. Hit that like button for me, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment if you got some comments. All right, guys, today, I just wanna talk a little bit about preventing accidents, right? Just being cautious when you're behind the wheel of this tractor, you know? I think it's important that we follow the goal principles that we all were taught, you know, early on. Goal, G-O-A-L, get out and look. You know, Gordon, we actually have it on our windows too. Right there. So it's just a reminder to get out and look. Be cautious. Take your time when you're driving, going into these uh you know these different locations that we have to deliver to everybody knowing the food service game you know we go to some stops that can be pretty tricky you know getting in and out of you know we drive into some some tight spots and things of that nature so uh we just got to be just got to be careful when we're making our deliveries and just when we're traveling on the roads you know in general so I think if we follow that basic principle, get out and look, it can really prevent us from, or at least give us a better chance at preventing an accident from happening. I don't think every accident is preventable because you know we're not the only ones on the road. There are other drivers on the road that make you know dumb decisions and using bad judgment while they're driving. So I don't think every accident is preventable, but I do think a lot of them are you know i think we we all can kind of go on youtube and put in the search uh semi truck driver getting an accident or truck driver gets into an accident or whatever and we'll see a whole bunch of videos about you know truck drivers getting in an accident and when we look at those videos sometimes we probably think to ourselves like man the guy was an idiot he should have did this or should have done that or whatever the case may be you know so my point is that those type of accidents occur that are preventable so we just got to take the right measures and just follow the basic principles um you know speaking of accident i'm gonna tell you guys a little story about an accident that i had last year um it wasn't anything major but it was considered an accident, right? So I was at a particular location. It was dark outside. Um, it was early in the morning, about five o'clock in the morning, 4.45, somewhere around there. So it was still dark outside. I was delivering to a nursing home. And in order to make the delivery to this particular location, um, so I thought, and I, I'll tell you why I say so I thought, um, you had to back all the way from like the side of the building to the back side of the building. Um, so I was going to draw a little diagram for you just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But hopefully you can get it, what I'm saying by the explanation and kind of just paint the picture in your head. So um, the building is on the left side, right? You see my truck here is on the right. So I'm on the right side, building on the left. You got guardrails on the left and the right. And I have to back in between the guardrails and circle kind of around the building. You also have parking. You got people parked on the left side and the right side uh, once you get through the guardrails, right? So the guardrails, they don't just go straight back they kind of got a curve in it. So you can't really just back straight back. You got to turn a little bit to get through the curve of the guardrails. So, and it's, it's, it was pretty narrow. And like I said, it's dark outside. Uh, so I could barely see, they didn't have a lot of lighting in that area. So what happened was, um, when I backed in, I backed between both guardrails, backing up, um, the guardrails happen to be a little bit longer than I anticipated. Um, so as I'm backing up, 
I can see that I'm passing through the guardrails, um, you know, out my out my front window. So I see both sides of the guardrail and I see that I'm passing out. But they were longer than I expected. So when I thought I passed through the guardrails, I still had a little bit more of railing to get through. Um, but I made my turn a little bit sooner. And so I was over a little bit off to the right, just enough to where my bottom step on the tractor hit the guardrail on the passenger side. And I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. So my bottom step right here, as you can see, I'm gonna turn the camera around. So this step right here hit the guardrail and dented it, like right in this area, put a dent in it. You know, they, they replaced it since then, but this bottom step right here, this bottom step hit the guardrail and they put a dent in it, right? And so when I felt it, I'm like, oh shoot, let me check out and see what happened. You know what I mean? I hit something. So I, as soon as I hit it, I stopped, parked the truck to see what kind of damage was done. And I seen it was the little bottom step that had hit the, the guardrail. Um, I said that to say this, um, even though it was, you know, dark outside, it wasn't a lot of lighting in that area. I think that they got like maybe one pole, like um, a little bit further out, but where the railing is at, it's, it's, it's like real dark. And like I said, you have to bag, or so I thought you have to bag all the way around this building. So I was doing that for like two months, right? Backing up all the way around this building to the delivery area where we needed to go to. Um, but I end up hitting the guardrail. Um, you know, I told my manager, send a picture to him, kind of showed him, but it was considered an accident. Even though it was, it was minor, it wasn't, a, you know, a lot of damage um, done to the tractor. Um, it still was considered an accident, right? And it was a preventable accident because I think if I would have got out and looked, I would have saw that, you know, I was a little bit over to the right and needed to kind of center just a little bit. And I could have positioned my tractor, you know, a little bit better to go ahead and get through. Like I said, I had been going through that, um, through the guardrails before. Like I said, I, I, I had to go through there at least I don't know, probably two months or something like that. And then just one day I end up hitting it. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like if I would've got out the truck and looked, instead of just, you know, feeling like, oh, I got this or whatever, cause it was dark outside. I should've really got out and looked, but I didn't. Um, and I end up hitting it. So those type of accidents right there are preventable. You know what I mean? So you just gotta be smart and really use good judgment when we out here on the roads um, to try to prevent things from like, like that from happening. You know, having correct following distance will be on the highways, looking out both sides of the mirror, left and right, uh, as you travel down the highway, you know, all of that can help prevent an accident from happening. I remember another time where um, I was on a freeway. It was like a three lane, three lane highway. And it was a pickup truck that had a, a ladder just fly off the back of his truck. The pickup truck had it been about, I don't know, maybe five, six cars in front of me. Um, and I was kind of like in the middle lane, but he was kind of like on the right lane up ahead. But the ladder just flew off the back of the guy's truck. And it was, all the cars that was following close behind them, they were just weaving in and out of traffic. I was so far back to where I seen it like way ahead. Of it. So I was able to, you know, get over into another lane way before I even got up to, um, you know, all the madness that was going on up there. But if I had been following closer to that pickup truck, you never know what could have happened. So, you know, following distance, having the correct following distance is definitely important and key, um, you know, to help lower the risk of you getting into an accident um but to get back to that stop i was telling you about that i hit the little guardrail so um after a couple months 
I end up riding with another coworker, right? So I rode with the coworker. Um, I don't know, it, it had been like a few months after I had the accident I had. It probably was like six or seven months, maybe somewhere around. It was it was a while after I had that. So um, I ended up riding with that coworker and the coworker, he didn't back up when he got to the spot. He actually drove straight all the way around the building and I didn't know that it was uh, like a little trail um, kind of way off in the corner. It's like a little trail behind the building to where you can actually like pull around and drive forward into this little trail to where you can kind of straighten up a little bit. You know what I mean? It's enough space the way you can get the track in through and then you can kind of pull forward into the little trail area and then back up and that's what he did. And I remember being in the truck, I was like, man, you mean to tell me, you know, you can just keep straight. I said, I've been backing up in this spot, but in those rails, like forever. He was like, hey, you backed all the way up around the building. I was like, yeah, I've been doing that for the last couple months. He was like, oh, he was like, nah, man. He was like, yeah, you could just come straight and just pull up in here. Uh, but like I said, I didn't even see that area. It's so dark in this, in this particular location. I didn't even know you could do that. So now, um, you know, that's what I do, or at least that's what I did when I would go to that location. Um, but anyway, I just said all that, man, to say that, you know, it's definitely important to use safety precaution, use the GOL principles, or the, I'm sorry, the GOAL, get out and look principles that we were taught early on. Um, it don't matter how many times you feel like you gotta back up or pull forward to get into a spot. If it's going to prevent you from having an accident, that's what you need to do. Like, I feel like it's a lot of truck drivers that have egos, right? They feel like if you got to pull up too many times, it looks like you don't know how to drive or something like that. It, it reminds me of, like, people in the gym. Like, I work out. So it reminds me, anybody that work out, that been in the gym, you know those type of guys that I'm talking about in the gym. The guys that make all the noise when they lifting weights. You know what I mean? Like, they want to lift the gym. And a lot of times those same guys end up getting injured and hurt and really hurting themselves because they trying to lift more than what they really can handle, right? Just to try to prove some kind of point. It's like, the main thing that you wanna do is be safe, right? So regardless of how many times you feel like you gotta pull up so you can get in the right position to make a safe back or something like that like that's what you need to do like don't be one of these truck drivers that just have ego and feel like you gotta do everything perfect you know what i mean a smart driver is the driver that's gonna get out and look regardless of how many times it takes you to do something as long as you don't hit nothing you good so that should be the main focus just not hitting anything causing an accident right so anyway that's all I want to say today, guys. Um, oh, one other thing to stay on the accident topic for one, one second. So Gordon Food Service, we actually have like a, a, a point system, right? Um, so depending on what kind of accident you get in, like you get points. Like when I hit the little guard, the little step, bottom step of this truck, I got points for hitting that. I think I got like 20 points or something like that. And you get a certain amount of points for each accident that you get. I can't remember the total point that you get before you, you know, terminate it or whatever, like it's levels, right? Depending on the accident, I think it's like levels. And I don't know them off the top of my head, but I actually got the form at home um, in details of the point system that we have when it comes to accidents. Um, but I think I got 20 points for that accident. And you also lose your safety bonus too. I think I lost my safety bonus for like, um, man, two or three quarters. So I think I lost my safety bonus like twice or maybe three times. Or maybe it was like six months or something. So maybe I lost two. So we get a safety bonus like once a quarter. So I may have lost two of them because of the accident. I'm not, I can't remember exactly, but, um, yeah, back to the safety, the uh, the point system that we have at Gordon Food Service. So if you get into an accident, you get points. So I think I got 20 points for that accident, right? And if you get a certain amount of points, 
you can actually, you know, be terminated at some point. So it's kind of like the first defense, you get a certain point. Then the second time, you get a certain amount of points. Then the third time, you could potentially be terminated or whatever. I think the second time you have it, you get put on probation. If you get, I think, 30 points or something, if you get put on probation or something, then any accident after that that you get into is like an automatic termination, something along those lines. Um, any GFS driver, I know I got some GFS drivers that subscribe to me. Um, if you guys know the point system by heart, like put it in the comments um, and let some of these other people know. I know I got a lot of subscribers that's about to get hired with GFS or some that's about to get out of school and gonna go to GF, GFS. I got some subscribers that's got interviews this week with GFS. So I'm just trying to put out and share all the information I can to help those guys out there that, that want to come on the team. Um, and again, if I remember tomorrow, I'll post another video when I got the, the form in my hand to really go over the details of the point system that we have. I don't know if other food service companies have a point system when it comes to accidents or not, but that's what we have at GFS. So it's like, you know, depending on the accident, you get points. And um, so I think I got 20 points for that accident, but I, I wasn't there a year yet. I, I don't think I was coming on my, my year mark. I think I was at one month out for my year anniversary. And once my anniversary came, 10 points came off, right? And then I think I had to watch a training video or something like that after the accident. And that actually, I think, took more points off, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but I think that's how it went. So I know for a fact 10 points came off after my uh, anniversary date came, right? And then I watched training videos, and I believe the other 10 came off, but I can't remember. It was like last year. But it was something along those lines. But I got the sheet at home, and I'll probably make another video tomorrow just to do kind of a deep dive on our point system. Um, and, you know, share that information with you guys, too. But that's all I want to say, guys. Um, hope you guys having a good day. And remember, like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll check you guys later. Peace. All right, real quick, guys, I got a, I got a correction on something I said in the video about the accident, um, me going through the guardrails. I said that I had been going through the two months prior before I had the accident. I I meant to say that was my that was actually my first time going to that particular stop at the time. And I went through the um, through the guardrail. That was my first time going through. Um, my first time working that stop. Um, and then after the accident, I had went to it like two months, you know, in, after that. You know what I'm saying? So the accident occurred my first time delivering to that location. Um, and then after the accident, you know, I had went back to that stop a couple months after that, um, still backing up into it before I found out that you can actually just pull straight ahead and and go behind the building and go through this little uh, trail they had. But I just wanted to make that quick correction because I think I said I was, you know, going through that stop like two months um before i had the accident that was actually my first time delivering to that particular location so i just want to make that quick correction all right i'm gone